I have not been looking forward to filming this video and I contemplated making it for a while. Um, but um, I lost my mom. I lost my mom to COVID. I lost her very quickly and it's been devastating to say the least. Um, and you're probably, some of you may be wondering why am I filming this video and you know, I, I, when this happened, I was able to take a bit of a break from social media. Um, I had pre-filmed videos and it was just nice that um, I had content and I really didn't stress about it and I was able to take time off. But then whenever it came time to, to film, I just really felt like just filming a regular video, like it was a regular day and like my world didn't just explode, was just like not okay. It just felt like a big lie, honestly, and just being happy on YouTube and pretending that my mom, I didn't just lose my mom, it just didn't feel normal. It felt so weird. I've let you guys in and, and you guys know so much about my family um, and about Aaron and my sister and so much and honestly, sharing that scared me so bad, but it was such a pleasure of an experience because you guys respected me and respected our story that we told. And it's just like, there was never anything negative that came from me sharing that. So I had a really great, I've had really great experiences sharing with you guys. Um, and I love you guys a lot. And my mom has been on my channel a lot um throughout my years on youtube she's been on my ig story a lot anytime i post her you guys would blow up my dms asking for a youtube video with her and just to ignore and to pretend like i didn't lose her on youtube was just too hard to do so then i was left with the option of talking about it and that's what i'm doing today and i've chosen to talk about it because it feels like the right thing to do I've tried to film this video before earlier and it didn't work out because I just wasn't there yet. Honestly, I just cried the entire time. So, so I am trying again and I want to be as real and honest in this video as I possibly can be because I know I am not the only person going through this or I'm not the only person who has lost someone who is very special quickly. It's shocking. It's devastating. And honestly, it's been really hard to believe that it happened and to like just wake up in the morning and be like she's not there i miss i miss her so much you guys <gasps> my mom got covid and she got sick and she was taken to the hospital and and it was no time before i lost her my family was in shock it took her life so quick, you guys. I'm not sure why I put on makeup for this video. I don't know. I'm like, okay, we'll just glam and film a regular YouTube video. Sometimes I guess I don't think, but. <sighs> My memory card filled up and honestly was great because it kind of gave me a moment to recollect myself. Um, but I also wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about how I'm doing. Um, I haven't been doing that great. <laughs> As you can see, I'm actually doing a lot better from where I was at at the beginning of this thing. <laughs> um, like I said, I pre-filmed some YouTube videos, so I posted those and taken some time off. And honestly, while my mom was sick, I tried to stay a bit busy because it helped me um, get through the days. You know, when your mom's in a critical situation, you like, it's hard to do anything. So I just felt like, Again, YouTube's always been that outlet for me and creating really is the thing. And I create content for, you know, Nitty Patootie for Laura Los Angeles. And for YouTube, I create content for three different outlets. And the reason I've set my life up to create so much content is because it's just the best thing to me. I love creating. So, you know, I created videos and try to stay busy. And I had Manny with me and we collabed and just... And then when I lost my mom, I really just needed some time, which I had pre-filmed videos. So I was able to give myself that time and I've uploaded a lot less, I know. Um, and this is why. And it has helped me to an extent to take time to 
get better um, and deal with some of this. Um, I know I'll deal with it for the rest of my life, um, but it's just good to take a break. I think every human is different. I think anyone who's gone through this, we all deal with it differently. But for me in my life, I am such a busybody. Um, I like to do, I always like to do things. I don't like sitting around and I don't like being bored. I'm just a doer. Um, that's like my comfort, comfort zone for me. That's why I'm always organizing or doing something. And a lot of those makeup organization videos were kind of like therapy for me. Little did you guys know watching because I was just going through so much and like cleaning out all that makeup was just like <sighs> for me, if that makes sense. So yeah, so taking time off has been good, but at the same time, it's put me out of my comfort zone when I'm already in a rough situation. So I want to get back to filming. Um, and I feel like I, for me, for my mom, for me being honest with myself, I wanted to film this video first. So here we are. I'll say this, life is really crazy and you never know. You just really never know what's gonna happen next. If we did know, I think life would be rather boring. But sometimes you wonder why. I will say one of the hardest parts of this, because I did lose my mom so quickly, was believing that she was gone. I like, and just accepting that. That took me a long time, but once I did do that, I did start to feel better and going through things and looking at pictures and just talking about the memories. They hurt, and it hurts so bad to do it. Once I did that, you know, and then came back and did it again, it wasn't as hard the second time, and then the third time seeing her picture, it's like, it gets a little easier. You just heal every time. <sighs> I'm sorry my voice is just, I have a lump in my throat if that's not clear and I have an annoying voice already so I can't imagine what watching this video is gonna be like for you guys. I'm sorry. I just, I'm still clearly very sensitive to this topic but I am a lot better just trying to stay busy with things that I genuinely enjoy doing and just being around my family and the ones I love so much. Um, I'm sad that I don't live in the same state as the rest of my family um, because I would love to be near them right now, but um, at the same time, being in California with Aaron has, and Ty has also been extremely helpful for me. I lost my dad about three years ago, and we've lost just in general a lot of family members in my life these past four years. By the way, my, uh, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but my grandpa and granny's name, my mom's parents, is Bonnie and Clyde, and I'm not making that up. My grandparents' name was literally Bonnie and Clyde, um, and they were the sweetest grandparents now, I do want to talk a little bit about my mom in this video. I want to talk more about her than what I'm going to be able to do today because it's hard to talk about, but I do want to talk about her. You guys saw on my channel, she was like the sweetest, most loving thing in the world, and that's just like how she was in real life. And I think me and my mom were very close, by the way. I miss calling her so much because I live in California and she lived in Alabama, so I would call her and I miss calling her so much. Moms are so special, you guys know that. My mom was one of the most special people on earth to me. Um, she was so pure and just so lovable. She just laughs so hard all the time. She taught me, like, she just made all the problems in my world. I would make, you know, talk to her about everything going on in my life and just talking to her and she would make any of my problems in my life seem so tiny. <sighs> Another one of her sayings was, um, uh, what is it? It's <laughs> an idle mind is the devil's playground. And that's part of the reason I've always wanted to stay busy because it helps a lot with anxiety. If you stay busy doing things, especially things that are productive, it's very rewarding for me. And she always said an idle mind is the devil's playground. Meaning, you know, if you're not keeping your mind busy, a lot of time it'll play tricks on you and overthink and build scenarios that aren't real in your head and get yourself worked up and build a case of anxiety for you. So that was one of her sayings. 
I don't know all the right things to do to go through this. I don't know, you know, how to make myself feel better. But what I am doing is just taking it day by day and mourning her and doing whatever my body tells me I need to do. And I encourage you guys, if you're going through something similar, to do the same thing. But she was the best mom, grandma, sister, daughter ever. And I do believe in God. I do believe in heaven. And I think she's in heaven with her sisters and mom and dad right now. I think she's at peace. And uh, I want you guys to know that I will be okay. Um, it will take me time. And I will work through this. And I plan on being open about it for you guys and for anyone who's going through this. But thank you guys for all your sweet DMs because I told you guys I'm going through something and I didn't even say what. And you guys sent me some of the sweetest messages I've ever read. So thank you guys so much for that. I encourage you guys to hug and love your family members and hold them tight or the people that are close to you. I remember giving my mom a huge hug the last time I saw her. She gave me a huge hug when she's like every five minutes we were together. So I got a lot of hugs from her, but I remember our last hug was a really big hug. I think that is it for this video, guys. Um, I'm gonna go relax, probably work on some different stuff and just hang out, watch some Game of Thrones, and I will be back. I will um, spend some time editing down the makeup clean out video, and I'll get that up on my channel, and I'll go from there. But thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for being here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? Welcome to my channel. I have my mom here today. Hey. She's my baby. I'm the baby of the family. <laughs> but I do love California. I love it when Laura brings me out here to visit with her. I enjoy mm -hmm. every minute I get to mom spend with her. loves it. Now we're done. <laughs> How beautiful. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Leave her a comment down in the comment section. Bye. Bye. What's wrong? <laughs> I can't look at it myself. With the glasses. <laughs> I'm looking at my glasses. <laughs> so funny. You don't like them? No. <laughs> Pick them out. I know. I have to because I can't see. <laughs> this is all they got at the Dollar General. <laughs> Ma, I told you to go to the doctor. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> this is the fun part of putting makeup on together. We got some stuff going on here. <laughs> it's so fun. Thank you, Laura, for having me to California, my sweet girl. Bye.